It shocked everybody in the cycling world when it first launched in late 2018. The Gravel is the first gravel bike from a historic Italian company, best known for recent Tour de France success. But Pinarello has shown how important the gravel bike market is, that a company with all its pedigree and history in road bike racing has jumped on the gravel bike bandwagon. The Gravel is a full carbon frame and fork with clear influence on the company's Dogma F12 road race bike when it comes to aerodynamics, integration and tube profiles as well as the general appearance of the bike a bit like a Dogma F12 on steroids with fat tyres and clearly a bike designed for speed, for going fast with aerodynamics like we've seen on the 3T Exploro another aero gravel bike Tyre clearance is, naturally, much more generous than the Dogma F12 with space in the rear stays and fork blades for up to a 53mm wide tyre. There's compatibility with 650B and 700C, so you really expect this bike to suit your terrain and riding preferences. It's a distinctive looking bike, if we're being kind, and there are some distinctive standout details. Starting at the front on the fork, the dropouts have small tips, or flaps as they call them, to manage airflow, particularly around the front brake caliper. There's a kink top tube, which you love or hate, and then the down tube is both asymmetric to combat pedaling forces to stop it twisting and concave like the Dogma F12 to deflect air around the water bottle and to reduce drag to make it faster. You can also see the fork blades are bowed out to both provide more clearance and to manage turbulent air in that area. Some other details of note include the full internal cable routing compatible with mechanical and electronic group sets. There's an external Italian threaded bottom bracket there's an extra bottle cage mount on the bottom of the down tube, but sadly there are no mudguard mounts, which really shows the performance focus of this bike. So not versatile like some gravel bikes, it's all about performance and speed. But the problem is, look at it. I mean, just what an ugly bike, okay? You may be looking at the bike and thinking, cool, blimey, that looks all right. Or you may agree with my assessment that it's not the prettiest bike in the world. But... I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comment section below by writing love it or hate it and let's see what you guys really think of Pinarello's new gravel. Now looks aside, I do like the fact that it stands out. A lot of bikes are now starting to look the same, very generic shapes are appearing and you can't accuse this of looking like anything else. And it really is the Pinarello way. Right back to the 90s and the early 2000s, their road bikes always stood out with wavy fork blades, wavy seat stays and some mad paint jobs and I like the fact that Pinarello does things its own way. Call it Italian flair if you want, but it stands out and that isn't a bad thing at all. But looks are one thing, what really matters here is performance and how it rides. So let's take it for a spin and find out. So what's it like to ride? On the road, with these fat tyres, it's very smooth. It takes care of bad road surfaces and holds very well indeed. It's very fast too, a good thing given the aero design of the frame and fork. It's probably one of the faster gravel bikes I've yet tested. The handling is also geared towards people who prefer to ride flat out or race gravel. The steering is fast and makes for a bike that is responsive and agile. There's also a lot of stiffness evident in the frame and fork. Get on the pedals and push as hard as you can and it's very good at transferring power into forward motion. Not a hint of flex or delay. So on the road it's fast and very capable. Onto gravel and dirt, providing it's dry it makes rapid progress. These tyres cope surprisingly well for a fat slick tyre. But get onto mud or wet surfaces and it's a tricky thing to keep upright. A change of tyres might be needed if you're watching this in the winter. On very rough off-road surfaces, that stiffness that's so good on the road is a hindrance off-road. It's just too much feedback through the contact point and makes it tiring on longer gravel roads. The overly stiff frame of fork also minimises the stability and composed nature of the bike when you're riding on technical rough terrain. It's just not as composed, not as smooth, not as compliant as the open wide or Candel top stone. So if comfort is a factor, the gravel might be a bit too hard. But if going fast is your thing, then the gravel does deliver. 
It's about that time in the video when we need to talk about money and value. And here the Pinarello Gravel does live up to Pinarello's reputation for being expensive and high end. This is actually a cheaper of two gravels available. There's a Gravel Plus, which uses the same frame, but a posher carbon to save a bit of weight and tuner stiffness, which costs even more money. But the bike you're looking at here with a mechanical Ultegra group set, an RX rear mech, these Falcon wheels and Viator tires and Pinarello's own carbon finishing kit costs £4,500. And that, I know you're thinking, is a lot of cash for not a great specification. Now you might remember that open wide I tested recently. That's coming in about three grand for the frame. So it's in the same sort of ballpark as bikes like that, like the 3T Explorer as well as another option to throw in there. But it's worth pointing out, you can get a lot of good bikes with a similar spec and carbon frame for a lot less cash. To pick one example, the Canyon Grail with carbon wheels, these are just aluminium, cost 3,200 pounds. So a lot less cash for quite a bit more bike actually. But it's worth remembering that Canyon is a direct sales brand and that does contribute a little bit to the price difference between this Pinarello and a Canyon. There are many other examples that do make the Pinarello gravel look expensive. So in terms of value for money, it doesn't do well. It does live up to Pinarello's reputation for high-end expensive bikes and it's in the same ballpark as something like a 3T Exploro or an open wide, if not quite on the same level in terms of performance. It feels very much like a fat tire road bike more than a really capable gravel bike for really rugged off-road terrain in the same way that open wide is. So if you're focusing more on off-road, the open wide will get my vote. If you want a road plus bike, then the gravel is worth a look. Whether you should buy it or not, it's down to whether you like Pinarello, whether you've got loads of disposable cash lying around, and how much you think a gravel bike is worth. But I'm sure you've got an opinion, so let me know in the comment section down below. But I think that's about all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all again next time for another bike review.